Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to discuss, both on our star and here at Earth. We'll peek in on seismic activity and also take a look back at the Great Turkey Earthquake earlier this year and what the sun was doing. Let's start with our star and we find the last 24 hours was modestly active. Several more filaments released, but only in minor ways, and it's probably even challenging to spot last night's M-class flare at the incoming limb. The departing coronal hole is amplifying solar wind pressure here at Earth this morning, and we will see that here using the ACE solar wind data. In orange, the plasma density of the solar wind, you can see a hump in the last few hours, and as that density decreases, the yellow plasma speed begins to rise. This is how all coronal hole streams present in the solar wind, with the density increase followed by the faster stream. Geomagnetic conditions are unstable this morning, but still below storm level disruption. Playing the last 48 hours here in 304 angstroms, we can see how many plasma filaments have erupted. The sun has been releasing these in greater numbers here the last couple of days, and luckily none of them are aimed at Earth. Several more remain on the Earth-facing half of the sun, and with the Jupiter alignment on deck in the next 36 hours, we'll have eyes open for more eruptions and more solar flares. Took an M-class event this morning off the incoming sunspots we had said to watch for yesterday morning. They are turning in now. Folks, the top two quakes of the last day struck right next to each other. Hopefully they are not four shocks of more to come in the region. But speaking of earthquakes, back on February 6th, Turkey was hit by a tremendous seismic event that took down buildings, killed tens of thousands of people, and tore the ground apart. Veteran observers will remember our examination of the most devastating earthquakes being tied to solar polar magnetic field activity, and that was the case again with this event. You've seen it in our videos, in our books, and in our premier scientific study published eight years ago, when there is a maximum peak in magnetic power or a magnetic reversal in the solar polar magnetic fields, we get the biggest earthquakes, and the northern solar polar fields hit their negative peak right around the time of the Turkey event, noted at the Red Star. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more in our Earthquake Knowledge Playlist. Check out the other links we have below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.